hello everyone in this video we will see what are nodes and their purpose in ROS2 here in this picture you are seeing the ROS2 graph which is a network of ROS2 elements represented by these blue blocks and they are processing data together at the same time it consists of all the executables represented by these nodes and the connection between them represented by these black lines each node is responsible for a single modular purpose for example controlling the wheel motors or publishing the data from the sensor like camera or lidar and each node can communicate with each other via topic or service or action or parameters here in this example you can see that this node is publishing some message and this message is traveling through this line into the topic and then these two nodes are subscribing this same message from this topic and both will get the same message at the same time similarly here in this example we have the client here that is sending the request to the server in this node and then the server send the response back to the client a full robotic system consists of many nodes that are connected via topic service action or parameters and they are processing data together and a single executable file either in c or in python program consists of one or more nodes as in our previous tutorial we have already covered how to install the total sim and rqt package in ros2 today we are going to use the total sim package in order to understand how ros2 node works and you also know that every time whenever we open a new shell environment or command prompt we must have to source the ros2 environment in our shell and now i'm going to run the number of executables from the package called total sim in order to run the executable file you have to type here ros2 space run and then you have to type the name for the package the package name is total sim and then you have to type the name of the executable file that you want to run from this package so i'm going to run turtle sim dash node now in order to run this executable you have to press enter it will open the turtle sim simulator here and you have to notice one thing here this is the name of the executable file not the actual name of the node that we are running right now so in order to see the list of the nodes or the actual name of the nodes that we are currently running in our ROS2 environment so you have to type here ROS2 space node space list it will list all the nodes that we are currently running right now we are running just just one node and its name is turtle sim so the actual name for the node is turtle sim and now i'm going to run another executable file from the package called turtle sim for this i'm going to use my another shell and here to run the new executable you have to type again ros2 run the name of the package i'm going to use the same package turtle sim and from this package now i'm going to run the turtle dlio e and you have to press enter in order to run this executable file now as you can see that whenever i press my arrow keys it will move this turtle in the simulator now there are two nodes running in my system so if i go back in my terminal and now if i want to see the actual name for this node so you have to again type here ros2 space node list if i press enter now you can see that right now we are running two nodes in our ros2 environment and the one is the turtle sim which is the simulator and the other one is the teleop turtle which is able to move the robot by pressing the arrow keys this command is really useful if you have a big robotic system where you are running a lot of nodes so it will help you to keep track of them and now we will see what is remapping and how it is useful in nodes for example i am already running the turtle sim node executable in my shell what will happen if i will run it again in another shell for example in this new shell if i will try to run this node again it will open another turtle sim simulator right now we have two turtle sim simulators in our ros2 environment and now if i will go back to my teleop key node and i will press my arrow keys it will move both of the robots in both of the simulators and now if i will go and print the list of the nodes that i'm currently running in my ros2 environment and here you can see that we have two nodes with the same name that are currently running in our ros2 environment so it will make confusion for us and also when you're running a lot of nodes that are communicating with 
each other. So that's where remapping plays its role. Remapping allows you to reassign default node parameters like node name, topics name or services name to custom values. Now we are going to change the name of one of our nodes. So in order to change it, you have to close it from here and you have to type the same command again here. And now we are going to assign this node name to a new name. So for this, you have to type here minus minus ROS minus args dash minus minus remap dash space dash dash node colon is equal to now you can type the new name here for your node so i'm going to rename my node with the name my dash turtle and now if i will press enter it will open another simulator and now if i will go back into my shell and now if i will print the list of the nodes that are currently running in our system right now you can see that all the nodes have the different names and now we have reassigned the new name to this node turtle same to my turtle so this is how the reassignment or remapping works and now we have already know the name of our nodes next if you want to access more information about the node or you want to see what is happening inside the node so you can use this command ROS to space node space info and the name of your node I want to access more information about the node my turtle so I have to write the name here slash my dash turtle and press enter and you can see that it will return me the number of subscribers public services and actions that are currently running in my node my turtle and these are all the black lines or the communication lines that are coming inside or going outside from this node this is it for today and in our next tutorial we will see what are topics and their purpose in ROS2 see you next time bye bye